What's going on, everybody? It is your host, Dr. Goon. And today we have another debunk. You guys have loved the debunks so far. In particular, on some of the content Dan Co. puts out. Again, this is no hate his way. It's just, he puts out a lot of wild takes. But before we get into this, smash the like buttons. 500 likes would be amazing if you want more debunks, as well as my birthday comes up at the end of July. If we could hit 28,000 subscribers, that would be amazing. I think we have like 90 more to get there. So it'd be awesome if you subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe as well and join the movement. But getting back on topic, we're going to do the debunk a little different today. As you can see, I have the video pulled up. We are going to watch it together and I'm going to debunk it um, as he goes through. And I skipped the intros and all that. We're going to go right to where he comes to his conclusion slash debate on the topic. And by the way, if you're asking me who I think wins between DC Shazam and Kratos, I think Shazam absolutely claps. I mean, the dude recently like was Rock of Eternity level. Okay, It's crazy DC creation level. For the power scaling lingo you guys prefer, you can get him to outer to high outer, especially if he's going all out. It's like real tough. For, I think Kratos high end is like Shazam's low end. I'll put it that way. So I'd favor Shazam for sure. But let's get into it. And Black Adam too. So two very powerful magical beings as well. Okay, so those are the two fighters, Shazam and Kratos. Who's coming out on top here? Let's get in there and break this down a little bit. And he might be saying, what are you even talking about here? Kratos has... So another issue I've had with Danco, and you guys can check in on this video, you can check it on his videos, is he pretty much recycles audio. I just, I find that distasteful because it allows you to just spam content that's not original anymore. Like, if I, if I say one thing in a video, and then I just clip that, and I use it in 20 other videos, and that's, like, half the video, that's a... I guess I'd call it lazy. I don't know how to put it super nicely. I, he could just never really update things. He constantly recycles the audio. Among the other problems stated, you know, it... it Leads, if we're talking about from a content point of view, it leads to really weird power scaling takes. Because ultimately, it's not really like original takes based on much merit. Nothing on Shazam. Shazam is straight up Superman's equal. He's way stronger, way tougher, way faster. There's absolutely no fight to even be had here. What's going on? Well, to you, I would say... You don't know Kratos real well, do you? Because, I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes he'll struggle with giants or get mauled by wolves or whatever. But this guy is a god killer. And I think the best way to really get a true gauge on his powers is to take a look at all the many, many gods that Kratos has killed. So in... So before we get into what he's about to say, this only works if you present an argument for God to God scaling, right? For example, this is almost like an implication that DC gods, if they share the same name, they scale the same to uh, God of War gods. That's just fallacious, you know? You don't assume because they have the same name, they have the same scaling, okay? Um, so he would have to present both sides at this point to explain why this God's basically like, for example, he's like, oh, this is why Zeus is like DC Zeus. You know, you'd have to present for both of those characters for it to make sense. God of War, there are basically three different power levels or power groupings, primordials, titans, and the gods of Olympus. In the beginning, before anything was there were the primordials. These beings waged war on each other before the very concept of time existed. And I it's kind of, <laughs> it is kind of funny. They said that's like the only three power levels in God of War. Like there's nothing else there. That's Out of this true. work came the earth and not just the earth, but the whole universe itself. I mean, they were throwing punches around and literally creating the Big Bang. That's insane. What's even crazier, 
Kratos killed some of these guys. Like he killed Gaia, Mother Earth herself. She's the first being to ever exist in the God of War story. Preceded all the primordials, and they already all preceded the universe itself. Gaia is an omnipresent being, able to exist everywhere all at the same time, exist in every time, even see the future. And Kratos killed her and Zeus at the same time. And that's not the only primordial that he killed. He also fought against and killed Thanatos, the primordial personification of death. This guy existed before the universe too, fought in the primordial war, even created his own dimension. Here Kratos is killing him. Granted, like it was a hard fight, it wasn't Here's another thing when you're using real generic comparisons. If you say like creating a dimension, but you don't really explain what that dimension is, what it would equate to, you can get weird, right? You could you could at this point you could be like, oh well that means this god scales to Kaguya and Naruto. And now the Naruto fans are on Kratos levels. You know, shit could get real doing that generalized scaling. It, it could be real problematic easy for Kratos to do this, but this guy is one of the most powerful primordials ever, was the literal embodiment of the very concept of death. It was never going to be an easy fight. It was one of the fights where everyone began to take Kratos seriously. This is when Zeus began to actually be afraid of Kratos, calling him the destroyer of worlds. You want to know something else crazy? The Titans and the Gods are on the same level as the Primordials. See, that's like... When you've give, given a generalized, almost like a Reddit-style list of feats with no sense to them, it makes it hard in a cross-verse matchup, unless you have like a clear difference. For example, if I say this character destroys universes, and then in this verse, this universe this character destroys galaxies okay i don't need to really get super in depth but if you're saying oh this god scales to dark side and zeus and you say oh well why he says well he made a dimension i sound crazy right <laughs> it just doesn't make sense they actually were the ones who replaced the primordials the titans are the spawn of the primordials in ruled creation during a golden age of peace and prosperity, where the Titans were the end-all, be-all. That is, until Kronos' son rose up to overthrow them and establish Mount Olympus. And there are a few Titans that Kratos fought against and beat too. Even This is low-key just fluff for the video, if I'm being real. That's how I kind of feel about this explanation. Like, it's not really getting to important in how it scales above or close the Shazam. Killed a few of them, like Atlas. We talked about this guy earlier, but he is the strongest titan in God of War, could hold up the earth with just one hand, and was the one tasked with carrying the weight of the entire cosmos on his back. And just so we're clear, in God of War, the universe, the cosmos, they're literally infinite not infinitely expanding like our universe but just infinite and yet kratos held him back he couldn't overpower kratos and then there's chronos the king of the titans the very embodiment of time the ruler of the universe during this golden age and he claimed that throne by defeating the embodiment of the universe it's this would be so far, and he didn't even say it or specify that's what he means, but this would be like putting <laughs> the highest tier in God of War at like universal, like infinite 3D, infinite 4D. It's tough. Self, Uranus. I don't think he'd he argue. He did it in an epic, but. I will say, I don't think he would argue a universe is 4D. I don't think he would say that. I don't think I've heard him claim that. Potentially universe shattering fight that was similar to the fight between the primordials 
that created the universe in the first place. And you know what? While Kronos killed his father Uranus, a dude who has powers way beyond the universe, well, Kratos was able to kill him. He died by Kratos' hands. Then last but not least, well, there are the gods, the children of the Titans. The gods were destined to rule the universe and crush all opposition under their feet. The king of the gods, Zeus, fought. I also don't get why you wouldn't present this with Kratos' side. It's basically double dipping. <laughs> like, you're not really addressing anything. You're just adding some more fluff from that side. I don't know. That's kind of rough, Chief. I don't feel like we're getting anywhere right now. Fought for vengeance. Which, it like, it amazes me that people like that, but I don't know. I feel like people wouldn't watch my videos if I made them like that. And freedom from his parents that would eventually end the time of the Titans and bring about the reign of Mount Olympus. For a millennia, the gods ruled creation, governing the fundamental forces of nature and order until Kratos showed up. Kratos managed to kill plenty of gods, but it was really impressive he was able to take down the big three, Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus. Hades is the third most powerful god in God of War. He was even able to gobble up Atlas' soul and- I think this makes a more clear point about my double dipping and you're not really making a case on why this is a fight. Um, these gods is what you would say in his character introduction under like his feats. You know, it's kind of- Ah, he gets away with a lot, man, that I feel like a lot of us others can't get away with. And gain all of his power. So the way that Hades works is that his power increases with the more souls that he devours. And Kratos fought Hades centuries after the Great War. So that means that the version of Hades that Kratos was fighting was even more powerful than when Hades fought Atlas. And yet, Hades still couldn't end up devouring Kratos' soul. Instead, it ended up being the other way around. And along with it, well, Kratos gained all the other souls that Hades had eaten. Poseidon is the second most powerful god. While we don't really know a ton about him, we do know that he can kill a titan with just one punch. He would have even killed Gaia herself if it wasn't for Kratos if he hadn't gotten to Poseidon first. Then last but not least. Yeah, he's, um, I th it sounds like he's going to have Shazam at a universal at best. Plus, that's what it looks like. Based on him saying, you don't know Kratos if you think this isn't close. It's looking rough on the scaling, Chief. Zeus, the most powerful being in God of War. He almost killed Gaia with just one lightning bolt. His mere anger can shake the entire universe. He created the Blade of Olympus, the most powerful weapon in the universe, and used it to absolutely obliterate the Titans. It's basically like the Infinity Gauntlet. You just gotta swing it around, you just gotta use it, and every being ceases to exist against it. It's pretty freaking crazy. But then Zeus was stabbed twice with the blades and didn't die. That's how powerful Zeus is. You know what? Kratos killed him. Kratos beat him. Kratos is out there just consistently beating universal level beings. Even beings beyond the universe. Yeah, see, he said universe and then beyond the universe, which... I'm gonna kind of assume, like, logically would mean he's saying universe. So, yeah. Beating the very gods and be- By the way, I have Kratos a lot stronger than that. Beings that were responsible for creating the universe in the first place. And Kratos is beating all of them. He's basically their reckoning. And that's not even talking about when Kratos made his way over to the Norse realms too, because it's the same thing over there. 
The Norse gods are universal at the very least. Thor is shattering infinite and limitless realms by splintering Yggdrasil in his fights. Odin was the one who created all the realms and universes in the first place, and Kratos is easily plowing through them and killing them. So yeah, Shazam is going up against a guy with an impressive track record here. Kratos is a bit of a beast, especially when you're factoring in the lore around the character and the universe. Yeah, it's he didn't make a case for for example, Shazam's flaw beings fighting something like the Rock of Eternity. You scale that up to like fifth dimensional level. You can scale Shazam to Lobo, who can kill f uh, fifth dimensional amps that are beyond the concept of death. They lay beyond the multiverse, the infinite layers of time and space, so on and so forth. That's a lot more complex than what he presented for God of War, and it makes it easy for him to say it's close because he's not really presenting it for Shazam in any reasonable manner. So it's kind of... He lowballed both while trying to gas up Kratos, which is weird because he's still lowballing Kratos. It's a weird catch. Both characters got done dirty in this matchup. God of War kind of goes hard. Kratos is just out there consistently beating universal level beings, even beings beyond the universe. And in order to say you can beat this guy, yeah, he just keeps saying the same phrase over and over again. That's it. He just keeps saying universe or beyond the universe each time. I kind of have to see you taking down Skyfather beings, or at the very least, holding your own against them. And while I believe Shazam is incredibly powerful, he's got the power of six literal gods all in one, I don't think he can actually hold his own against Sky Father Beings. This is insane because one of the powers Shazam has is Zeus. Matter of fact, I gotta end the video, dog. This is this is insane. <laughs> one of the gods he has is Zeus. Zeus is a High Father or a Sky Father, whatever you want to call it. Like that's insane. He's like false. Falsely making it equal between the two pantheons, but then he's not counting the power of Zeus. Holy shit. Yeah, nah, that's that's rough. I think we're going to wrap it up. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. I'm just... That caught me off guard. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Like, he can't beat Zeus. Don't even think he can beat Darkseid or probably even Doomsday by himself. He has been said to be on par with Superman, but when push comes to shove, still think Shazam is in a tier below Clark. Now, all of this isn't- Superman obviously bullies Kratos, by the way. ...to say that Shazam can't beat Kratos. I mean, Kratos has straight up been killed quite a few times as he's been fighting against all these gods. Like, look at Thor. Sure, Kratos was holding back in that fight and wasn't going all out, but Thor was still able to kill Kratos with a swing from Mjolnir, then just decided to bring him right back. And if Thor can do this, well then I'm betting Shazam can too. I mean, one of Thor's greatest feats is fighting against Jormungandr and sending the big snake straight back in time with a punch. Now, I have no idea how this is possible. It seems to go against everything I know about time and punches. But one thing I do know is that Shazam has thrown a punch so hard that he created a black hole, which I would say is basically the same thing. A punch that breaks the world tree. A conceptual housing time and space infinite strands of them that stack on top of another is not the same as punching and creating a black hole that is a big if true that is a wild statement from danko so if it takes that kind of strength to kill kratos well shazam is that strong 
But of course, it's not that simple. Kratos was holding back in that fight, and when he wasn't holding back as much, he beat Thor all up and down. And then of course, Kratos is the one who killed Zeus. And Zeus in God of War is really surprisingly powerful, easily a Sky Father level being. He can beat universal beings, he can shake in well then I think Kratos has what it takes to take Shazam down. It'll be a great fight, but Kratos is coming out on top and at the end. Yeah, this is insane. He said Universal is what beats Shazam. Shazam sub-Universal at his best. By Dan Co. Yeah, this was, a, this was a wild ride. Obviously, it's insane what he's scaling. If you're scaling anyone relative to Superman, they're obviously beyond Universal. Um, go check out my Superman Infinite Frontier scaling video. I go super in-depth on how strong uh, the character is as well as the many different feats throughout recent modern times so yeah this was a wild one um he never ceases to amaze me you know uh wish him the best of course there's no negativity in this just reviewing the product crazy to say kratos beats shazam big if true shout out to the universal meta and yeah anyways just remember uh, perhaps power scaling is just the people and the friends we make along the way. Peace.